Women who fled the worst now compete alongside the best. It's a thing of dreams. I never thinking about maybe one day in future I can to join the world championship. Never. Never I thinking think about maybe one day I leave my country. Now I have a life cycling. And what a life. Mina and Arifa are the only women representing the country in any elite level sport. Now they're just days away from the cycling world championships in Glasgow. It's a long way from home. After the Taliban, it was impossible to live in Afghanistan. It was impossible to uh, keep dreaming or uh, follow our dreams. Try to be role models in Afghanistan because before us, there were no girls in our province to be cyclists. And then we decided to start cycling and make a team and uh, encourage other girls to come and join us. Encouragement is one thing, prospects quite another. Girls in Afghanistan remain banned from sport. That's competing and playing. I try my best to present my country. Every uh, Afghan girl, they didn't have any opportunity to show the world. But uh, I, I try my best to show the um, talent of Afghan girls. Mina and Arifa are set to do that here in a country with a rich cycling culture. It's part of our identity and is fast becoming part of theirs. It's not just to do with the performance or being ready and like physically being fit. It's number one being developing that identity to know that you are an athlete, you know, building that um, feeling of, you know, you, you belong there. You are one of those people and you have every right to go and, you know, compete and win, win a world championship if you want to. As refugees, the pair spent a year in hiding, fearing for their lives. Now it's the complete opposite as they take to the world stage. Sadia Chowdhury, Sky News in London.